Good morning, good morning, good morning. This looks odd and it feels even odder, but we are here at the first word, and I am your host, Pastor Rashid Taylor, and we are remotely on a pastor retreat, getting our minds right, getting our hearts right, so that we can get our service right. And so we are here to talk to you, but you see, I am not by myself today. I'm with my two very close friends. <laughs> Let's start with my sister in the middle. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Dr. Jennifer Patterson. So good to be here. All of us in the same place. In the same place. <laughs> and my brother on the end. Good morning. This is Pastor J.D. Pastor <laughs> J.D. Sound like Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we welcome you to the first word and what we need for you to do, because we are sweating this out. We need you to make sure that you like, share and subscribe so that the good word of God goes forward because you played your part. So share with a friend, share, especially with an enemy, somebody that you don't really like, but you hope that they make it to heaven anyway. All right. Here at the first word, we practice the space acronym where S is a sin to confess, P is a promise to claim, A is an attitude to adopt or adjust. C is a command to follow and E, a command to obey, excuse me, and E is an example to follow. So go ahead and make notes as we go through the word of God briefly here today. And as we talk about making sure that you are witnessing, not only to those you know, but those you don't know and those that you would like to see saved. Let's start with the word of prayer. Jen, you want to give us a word of prayer? Sure. God, we're just so thankful for your goodness and for your grace and for just bringing us here, for being with us, for being a faithful God. We're thankful for your word and just for any opportunity that we get um, to talk about it, to read it, and to make it practical. And I pray that we'll walk away with some gems today. We love you and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 So let's let's look at uh, Paul and his, his work here in Acts 17. Verse 18 through 21. Jane, you seem to have that. Can you share a, a little bit of that? With you? Sure, sure, sure. 18. Some of the Epicurean and Stoic philosophers also conversed with him. And some said, what does this babbler wow, mm. wish to say? Others said he seems to be a preacher of foreign divinities because he was preaching Jesus and the resurrection. 19. And they took him and brought him to the to Areopagus, saying, may we know what this new teaching is that you're presenting? 20. For you bring some strange things to our ears. We wish to know, therefore, what these things mean. 21. Now all the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there would spend their time in nothing except telling or hearing something new. Mm. So, Jen, as you read that, and, and J.D., feel free to answer as well. What kind of idols do you imagine or you hear uh, or read about the people worshiping? And I mean, not, not necessarily. There were, there were idols, idolatry there that right. were being practiced. But what kind of idols could we compare in contrast to the, to the idols that they were worshiping back then? Yeah, the first thing that I hear, they're, they're kind of talking about the, the, this new teaching mm -hmm. that they're hearing. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that um, one of the idols is their belief system, mm -hmm. teachings okay. that, or mm -hmm. doctrines or mm -hmm. dogma, however we want to qualify that. Mm -hmm like things that they hold fast to, mm -hmm. that they believe in, that they um, govern their lives by, yeah. in yeah. fact. Okay. Yeah. Right. Jenny, what about you? Um, you know, I, I guess it, to be, uh, the, the things that come to my mind uh, when I think about the idols that we worship, mm -hmm. you know, are television, mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. um, I think we worship... Um, I think we worship religion mm. as well. Mm -hmm. We worship. Can I pause um, you right there? So I think there's this misconception that that if you worship religion, then you're worshiping God. So mm -hmm. it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. Break down why that might Ooh, be problematic yeah. to worship religion. That's good. Well, when I think about it, you know, I, I think that um, when I think about it, I realize that um, we put a lot of stock in. Um, for example, mm -hmm. I say I'm a Baptist mm -hmm. uh, because I because I'm a Baptist. There's nothing else mm -hmm. that matters mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I do everything to up, 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 keep the, the 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 idea that I'm Baptist in front of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when people begin to talk about Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. I'm offended because it's not really gelling well with my being a Baptist mm -hmm. or being mm -hmm. a Catholic or mm -hmm. being a, a Pentecostal mm -hmm. or being a Seventh-day Adventist, mm -hmm. you know, and if it doesn't mm -hmm. gel well, 
then you know there's a fight. Mm -hmm. More squabble takes place in the church. Yeah, not over Jesus, mm -hmm. but over religion. Yeah. So you're saying what? Um, how I identify? What mm -hmm. I identify right. with? Yeah. Yes. Is yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Is my idol? Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. And you won't let that go. Yeah. No matter how much truth uh, comes to you, yeah. you are unwilling to let it mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying it's wrong in and of itself. Mm -hmm. It by itself not being wrong, but mm -hmm. when you put that thing before everything else, mm -hmm. okay, then that becomes yeah. an idol. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's your definition. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's how you Rashi it. the right. Baptist. Right. JD the Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. Jennifer the, the Catholic. The, yeah. the so and so the admin. Mm -hmm. It has now become our definition. Right. Yeah. And we remove God from the from the salvation, mm -hmm. from the salvific work. Right. Like it's not he that saved me, it's this that saved me and, and defines me. Wow. What I right. do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Checking that box off. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you. Because when you said that, that, that immediately triggered us. So I appreciate you breaking that down for us. So how can we, we, we heard the, the, the opposite side, the worshiping, the religion, the worshiping, the, the practices and, and, and principles that are supposedly about God and through God and for God. But how can we make sure that we aren't slipping into religion worship or doctrine worship? How can we make sure that we're Christ centered instead of religion driven or self driven? How can we, how can we avoid that falling into that pitfall? I'm chuckling because it's not something that I think we do often, mm -hmm. but I don't think we take stock in mm -hmm. ourselves. Okay. I don't think we're, we are evaluative of ourselves mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and look at, you know, look mm -hmm. at what I'm doing, mm -hmm. look at what I believe and okay. why, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I think it starts there and just being honest oh. mm -hmm. about where my, where I'm positioning myself. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. my filter is, yeah. what my point of reference is, and mm -hmm. if it's not Jesus, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's not the gospel, the, the story of, of God and humans, mm -hmm. you know, the, how God saved the world. If it's not, you know, biblical, yeah. um, then, okay, now I need to be kind of mm -hmm. wrapping my mind about what's next. Mm -hmm. You know, how do, how do, how, what kind of modification, mm -hmm. um, you know, mod modifications need to be made at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that evaluation for me, the evaluation mm -hmm. starts. I, like I need to be honest. Like <laughs> Jenny, yeah. what do you think? You know, the text favorite, one of my favorite texts, one of them. Mm -hmm. one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few. But uh <laughs> seek ye first the kingdom of God and oh, yes. righteousness. That part all mm -hmm. these things should be added on to you. Uh, I think that we when we begin to seek Christ, mm -hmm. um seek him. Mm -hmm. Um when yeah. we when we realize that it's it's not about the things that we're holding on to, uh, but it's all Christ. Mm -hmm. it's, everything has to be Christ-centered. Mm -hmm. It has to be um, God-focused. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we'll put everything else in its place. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we we worship things that we don't even realize we're worshiping until it's taken away from us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. Until it's taken away from us, mm -hmm. we realize, man, I've been worshiping wow. these things. Wow, and I, but if we put Christ first, mm -hmm. Then everything that needs to fall away, yeah, will fall away, fall away. and yeah. everything that needs to be lined up, mm -hmm. yeah, will be aligned. Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, that text, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, um, it is applicable to us and mm -hmm. it can help us to mm -hmm. realize that uh, the thing that comes first mm -hmm. must be first. That's good. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You said evaluation. You said yeah. seeking God and letting those false things fall away. Mm -hmm. And that's that's I, I, I just touch and agree yeah. with that. There's this. This uh, for those of us who, who are maybe a little seasoned and taking our driver's test <laughs> in the nineties. For most most people, they had the part where you did well and what your score was, mm -hmm. but the part that you also fell short. So right. I had to take mine uh, three times <laughs> 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 because going into it, the, the thing that I focused on was the thing that I was afraid of most, uh, which was the parallel parking part. Oh my goodness! And so yeah. I, I nailed that the first time, but I didn't focus on coming to a complete stop. I didn't, mm -hmm. it was these little things ah, so that I'm good. overlooking just that allow me to fail the test mm -hmm. twice yeah. because I'm focused on the thing that I'm afraid of. Right. And because now I passed that, then I see myself as victorious. Mm -hmm. But it was those little things that were my undoing in the same way in our Christian walk. It's those little things that will actually keep us from being Christ and those little things that will actually keep us from being uh, fit for the kingdom because we're focused on the main thing that we got the victory over. I no longer watch porn. I no longer use drugs. I no Mercy. longer eat meat. Mm -hmm. But it's these little things that we that keep us from passing yeah. the test, that keep us from yeah. being truly victorious because we're focused on the thing that we saw as large, focused on the thing that we saw 
as frightening. And so mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're not actually fit for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to to because the Epicureans and the, the Stoics and right. all of these other things. So there, there was this kind of idol worship, but there was also kind of a superstitious air in and not just that era, but this era where there's these these things that creep in and kind of mix with their 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 Christianity or their or their Jew, Judaism for some of those. So how can we uh, how do we find ourselves at times being Christian and simultaneously superstitious? <laughs> <laughs> what what what, what tickets you about that, JD? I mean, a few Just things. It's a few things. Mm -hmm. So you know, I am um, Jamaican. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. And in Jamaica, it, it doesn't matter. And I should say in Jamaica because I, I didn't grow up in Jamaica. But um, if you're Jamaican or from the islands, mm -hmm. one things that. It's a no no mm -hmm. is the sweeping of the feet. Come on. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. And I, I I promise you, I've seen children get whooped. Mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they either either accidentally swept the feet of mm -hmm. their parents, mm -hmm. that's Jamaican, mm -hmm. or purposely, whatever it is. <laughs> they yeah. just lose their mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it is. You know, it's I don't know if it's bad. I, I, we don't know the 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 the, the whole thing behind the mm -hmm. behind it, but they would lose their mind mm -hmm. if a child or anyone should mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. literally. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's fighting words. Mm -hmm. I mean, fighting action. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. Then again, I, I also did some mission work in uh, in Haiti, mm -hmm. and um, one of the things that I realized is that um, in, in the church. Uh, there's certain things um, in, in um, the Christian church or the, rather the Catholic church that um, um, I, I learned while I, while I was there that the um, the Buddha priests mm -hmm. the Buddha priestess did mm -hmm. not respect the Catholic church mm -hmm. because uh, the, 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 the statues and all these things that they have inside of the church mm -hmm. remind them of um, of the their own um, uh, Temple, mm -hmm. oh wow, you know, and so uh, I, I I remember I didn't go in, but a buddy of mine went in. Uh, they went into the temple, mm -hmm. and everything that they could find in the Catholic Church was in that temple, and it was either painted black or turned upside down. Wow, wow. you know, and so it was like wow. So we mm -hmm. hold on. I think we hold on to certain things, and we do certain things. Yeah, we we, we act certain way mm -hmm. because of what was passed on to down to yes. us, mm -hmm. not realizing it's not. Christian is mm -hmm. superstitious, yeah. but we hold on to it as if it was from Jesus Himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and so I think some of these things we have to just um we got Lord help me, help to see what is what is Christ-centered mm -hmm. and what is uh superstitious or um yeah, what is superstitious? Mm -hmm. You know, superstition that we yeah. hold on to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and what about you? Yeah, I think that same, same. I just adding one to that. I think that focusing on the the original mm -hmm. on the authentic mm -hmm. is one way mm -hmm. for us to automatically see mm -hmm. what's not the business okay right what's yes. not biblical mm -hmm. what we consider christian or mm -hmm. of christ right there was something else like oh i was going to say along the same lines as you were saying tradition Mm. and culture mm -hmm. sometimes we don't realize how much of that is in us mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not here to demonize culture mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we are human beings right. and culture is just a part of who we are mm -hmm. but there are things out here that are not necessarily something that we need yes right. you know yes. something that is going to further our our mm -hmm. journey mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um and so i think focusing and i you know I always use this this ex this example. People who know the counterfeit money, mm -hmm. is, they know it yes, well so because you. they yes. not because they study the counterfeit. It's mm -hmm. because they study authentic mm -hmm. currency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think that what you said, see Christ first. You mm -hmm. know, when you start looking up the meaning, mm -hmm. in, you know, the Greek for seek, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. means require. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm require mm -hmm. demands mm -hmm. god first mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and his righteousness his mm -hmm. right his way of living yeah. wow. his yeah. authority his rule yeah and so yeah. if I'm, I'm seeking i'm demanding that it's going to make all these other stuff mm -hmm. rise to the service mm -hmm. it's going to separate uh you know organically mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah seek god first yeah uh yeah. I, I love that focus on the authentic 
Mm-hmm. And and we can we can understand yeah. Yeah. if it's if it's real or not if yeah. it's useful there you or go. not like there you go. <laughs> um, there's there there's you go. a story I tell people uh, in in my class all the time that that a, a wife was having her first Thanksgiving and she was um, preparing to put the turkey into the oven and she mm-hmm. trims off the top the sides and and then puts the bird in the pan and puts it into the oven. And her husband is after the second or third Thanksgiving, like, why are you wasting all this meat? And she's like, my mama always did it. That's a tradition in our family. Oh, man. And so yeah. he's like, but that don't make sense. You know, you, you cut off this, this extra burden. And so she calls her mother to kind of prove him like, mama, don't we do it this that way? Part. And she's like, yeah. She's, and so he's like, but mama, why? She's like, well, my mama always did it. So they call grandma <laughs> and ask her. Grandma, you know, we trim the trim the bird just like just like mama did. I, I, right. She trimmed the bird just like you did. Why do you trim the bird? She said, Oh, baby, my <laughs> oven was too small. So it's not any real reason right. she could get yeah. the yeah. bird into her <laughs> little <laughs> tiny oven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so we have made some in our in certain instances, we've made yeah. traditions, we've made superstitions. Pri- priority number one. Because we've seen them done by people Correct. we trust, seen mm-hmm. them done by people we love, yeah. but we don't actually know, sweeping the feet, mm-hmm. why this thing is right. really a thing. Right. And so if you can't connect to why this thing is a thing, yeah. if it doesn't represent the authentic, if it isn't part of you seeking Christ first, then maybe, just maybe, it's useless. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah. just maybe, maybe just you don't need to carry maybe. that into your present walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and pass that on to to the people who are important to you. Mm-hmm. Let me ask this: Is is superstition automatically false doctrine? Is all doctrine superstition? What would you would you just categorize superstition as just false doctrine believed as truth? How would you how would you uh, define that? Either either one of you. I, as I was just writing the question, I was like, is is all yeah. superstition false doctrine? I would say not necessarily. not necessarily. I think sometimes superstition is just something that somebody came up with or mm-hmm. passed along, and mm-hmm. it's just not—it's not really connected to anything. Right, mm-hmm. right. It's right. just—it's just an unlikely, okay, you know, mm-hmm. piece of information. Mm-hmm. But I think also superstition could be mm-hmm. false, doctrine, false doctrine, but it's not always. Not always. That's good. False doctrine. That's good. And I think sometimes the intention is good. Yeah. Somebody may have misread it. Right. Like, don't put anything on top of the Bible. Right. Is yes, the word of God should be priority number one. Yes. But that doesn't mean my notebook can't go on top of the Bible or my you know, we we, we kind of make we kind of make these you know these things yes. up as as we go along and we don't really understand why sometimes. Okay. I I, I, I will touch and agree with that. And that the crazy, definition. Go ahead. the crazy yeah. thing is that you use that illustration of the Bible, you know, that's the household I grew up in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, I we would get in so much trouble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Nothing. Um, the hymn book. Yeah. Poorly. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I'm, you know, you, another Bible. Bible. <laughs> another Bible. Do not put back the Bible. Yeah, yeah, Bible. Bible. But well, when you think about it, you know, it's the cover. Yeah. It's Come on. It's what's inside. It it. Oh, there you go. It's for reading it and, yeah. Doing yeah. and meditating on yeah. that. Yeah. Make it transformative. Like, it's all at the book. Yeah. It's yeah. Book. Come on. So if I if I took my pencil out and so I, I wrote everything on a piece of paper mm-hmm. and put that, you know every word for word from the Bible and put it down, it, does that become the Bible? Mm. <laughs> yeah, is that the word of God now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's just, it, I think I think we have to be careful with that. Mm-hmm. We, do, we, do, we do. Yes. Yeah. So so just uh, our, our second to last question, uh, just just in 17, 24, 27, just so we can kind of look at Paul's example. Okay. Um, what is his approach to reaching those people who may have not only beliefs different from ours, but entrenched beliefs that are that are kind of foreign to us? So can I read this real quick? Please. Okay. Um, reading from the app, 24 through 27. Oh, here, the God who created, this is Paul, mm-hmm. talking to... Um, the people, the God who created the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, because it is he who gives to all people life and breath and all things. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their lands and territories. This was so that they would seek God 
Mm. If perhaps they might grasp for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. I think that's mm. so beautiful. That is, that is. Um, but I think he is, first of all, in, in the earlier um, verses, mm-hmm. it says that Paul had discussions with anybody who who would talk to him, yeah. who, who was open, who would engage mm-hmm. him. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. He just, that's what he was doing. And mm-hmm. so it seems down here in 24 to 27, y'all tell me what you think. He's like, okay. Let's start from square one. Mm-hmm. Let me let me explain to you guys from the beginning mm-hmm. who this God mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, not like yeah. I'm coming to you like I was in Washington D.C. and mm-hmm. they had the the bullhorns. You know, mm-hmm. repent or you're going mm-hmm. to hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no context there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What what am I supposed to do? Mm-hmm. Especially someone who doesn't know who God is. Mm-hmm. You know that kind mm-hmm. of thing. But mm-hmm. he was just like developmentally. Mm-hmm. Let me talk about who this God is. Let me mm-hmm. let me appeal to your mm-hmm. intellect. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. let me let me. Find it, like kind of like Jesus did. Like, let me connect to your mm-hmm. background and yeah. knowledge and, yeah. and your point of reference so mm-hmm. that you can understand mm-hmm. where I'm coming from. Yes. That's, that's kind of how I yeah. Yeah. how I hear it. How you hear it, Jake? Yeah. I think I, I, same way. I think I, what's happening with with Paul here is that, um, and we got to remember where, where Paul mm-hmm. uh, was at this time. He's dealing with people that have some sense of of truth. Mm-hmm. Put a quote around that. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, they they do believe in. A God, mm-hmm. um, and so he decides to go from the beginning. Let, let, let's 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 go from yeah. from the beginning. Let's yeah. let's and he's he's gently. He's mm-hmm. not standing again. I like that. yeah. He's not standing on the street corner with a bullhorn, right. saying repent. <laughs> yeah. You are this. You are yeah. that. You're, You're wrong. This. You're you wrong. Know. <laughs> yeah. Repent. I have the truth. You yeah, don't, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not that. Ooh, it's all. really. Saying, let's comb through this thing together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's yeah. walk. Let, let's yeah. let, let's walk hand in hand. And anywhere you see that I've, I've gone off, mm-hmm. you you stop me. That's how mm-hmm. I see or you can mm-hmm. hear Paul. No, I like you that. know he's I walking with them through this whole mm-hmm. a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's where we make a lot of mistake. We think that because we tell people we brand ourselves as the truth holders, as mm-hmm. or whatever mm-hmm. you know, people need to come to us, and when we speak. Mm. Then that's it. it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. I remember one uh, elder of mine uh, said, um, um, "Well, I, I, I gave him the truth. Mm. No, it's on them. Yeah, it's not on me. What what happens after? I, I, I gave the I gave the um mm-hmm. the, the, the um, amazing facts. Mm-hmm. Now it's on them. Mm-hmm. No, we need to walk with yes. people, yes. and we're that we fail yeah. a lot of times. We don't mm-hmm. walk with people anymore." Mm. We give them and expect them mm-hmm. of them, to just yeah. you know, and, and and that's that's not it, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. That is not that is never. Bible study is not the end all mm-hmm. to a uh, a winning relationship. Yeah, mm-hmm. a winning relationship causes me to if I fall in the if Jan if you fall in the gutter, mm-hmm. yeah, and the only way for me to get you out of this gutter or the ditch is for me to, to climb down there. Mm-hmm. And get dirty mm-hmm. so that you can get back up. Yeah, mm-hmm. then that's what I do. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to get dirty. So you're not gonna mm-hmm. just toss me the rope, yeah. right? So yeah. that I have to figure yeah. it out. Yeah, and I gave her the yeah. rope. Yeah, yeah, I gave her all, and, and your right. outfit is more important than her self. Right. 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 I don't want to get this dirty. You know how much right. I pay for this. You know how much it exactly. costs me to get this. Exactly. So I'm not gonna climb down there with you. I threw wow. you the rope. Exactly. You better yeah. figure it out right. on your own. I gave you what I had to get. Yeah. Oh wow. So just just real quick, really briefly. We often hear a sermon live is better than one preached, but how does living a sermon help the gospel go forward? We always hear we got the Great Commission, but how does living a sermon push the gospel forward? So we're not just yelling on the street corner. So we're not just throwing yeah. tracks into people's doorways. How how uh, how can we push the gospel forward just by living the the, the truth of God in our lives day to day? I, I think it goes along with what I just said. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it, yeah, it's really the idea of walking beside somebody mm-hmm. um yep. you, you never know what a person is going through mm-hmm. and just because you give a bible study and they they share a piece of their story mm-hmm. that's not all of the story mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know um and if we if we don't lock step with people then you know giving them the the, the, the scripture um you know means nothing mm-hmm. james says that that if you know i'm hungry and you want to give me religion? Mm-hmm. Don't pray for you. You know, mm-hmm. it's nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it's really nothing. You know, you you're a bigger idiot than mm-hmm. you know. It, you know, there is mm-hmm. because that's not the way the gospel works. Mm-hmm. It's that's not, not what Jesus did. It's mm-hmm. not how it works. Mm-hmm. Jesus did not say, "Listen, 
Come back, y'all. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he came down mm -hmm. and dwelt, dwelt with man. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and became the Savior, the Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. He was willing to give it all up so that they could be saved. Mm -hmm. Moses did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Moses says, listen, don't, Lord, 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 Lord. These are the people you rescued out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. don't, don't go back on your word now. Yeah. Take me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we said, no, 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 no. I want to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about them. I've done my due diligence. Mm -hmm. I've done my job. I've, mm -hmm. I've done my witnessing. I've done my my, my, my Bible study. You know, I've met my quote for the for the uh for the week. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've I've done 15 yeah. uh Bible yeah. studies. I don't yeah. know how many that came out. Yeah. yeah, but I mm -hmm. gave them, I gave them the I'd say fact, um mm -hmm. that um mm -hmm. fact um we call it uh, amazing facts amazing amazing fact. fact. or yeah. discovery. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I gave them. I, I paid for them. Yeah. Yeah. To be sent to, to, to the them people's them. houses. Yes, I got nine subscriptions. Yeah, what they do with it? That's on them. That's on them. Yeah. But Jesus okay. came down mm -hmm. and Come on. walked with us. Mm. That's the mm. difference. That's yeah. the difference. That's it. Yeah. He showed us how to do it. Mm -hmm. He can't. He showed us how to do it. And I go I always go back to the classroom. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. you. I know you get me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like there was it for elementary, and it's just not just for elementary. But there was a part of the lesson where it was modeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I'm bringing a new concept that they don't know how to do this, they've never mm -hmm. heard this content before. Mm -hmm. I'm modeling it. I'm showing you what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now you can mimic me as mm -hmm. you're learning the concept mm -hmm. and as we're practicing. Mm -hmm. But I model it for you so that yeah. you can see it. And yeah. Jesus modeled. He showed it. He showed what loving your neighbor looks mm -hmm. like. He showed what loving God looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. He showed what a, um, a, a prayer life looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. What faith looks like. I mean, he what depending depending on God looked like. He showed us, and we can go back and we can read mm -hmm. his word and mm -hmm. be like, oh, that's what mm -hmm. it looks like. Mm -hmm. And so he expects us, you know, in John, when he says, go love, mm -hmm. go, lo go love one another, mm -hmm. he's in essence telling us, go do what I do mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, words are great. Mm -hmm. I can teach all day, mm -hmm. but until I model, until they're able to put their hands on it and practice and understand what that is, mm -hmm. it just pushes that down even deeper mm -hmm. and makes it more relevant. More mm. And it's funny, yeah. it's funny because again, I, I always quote my favorite quote Christ method alone oh, yeah. mm -hmm. will give true success. Mm -hmm. Come on. People. The, the Savior mingled with mm -hmm. them, but will desire their good, yeah. minister the need. I want this simply, he said, then said, Come follow me, follow me. But what we do is like, you know, here's a handout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Read it. Yeah. Read it. <laughs> and then find me. And find me. So you, you find me if me. you have any questions. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, so with that said, I, I, I think that's that's the perfect last word is that Christ's method is the yeah. perfect example yeah. of a sermon lived. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's better than a sermon preached, and that's how you push the gospel forward, mm -hmm. putting it in your life, living it, walking it out, and then touching the lives of those those you come in contact Absolutely. with and walking with them, mm -hmm. not handing them something and walking away from them. So this has been the first word. I'm your host, Pastor Rashi Taylor.